Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country. Before we begin this episode, a couple of quick announcements. In the spirit of shopping for half price candy post-Halloween, I acquired a bunch of Halloween-themed prizes left over from the Samhain celebration, which I will share with you, my loyal cultists. Interested viewers who also play Secret World Legends, let me know in the comments below, and I'll send you a list of what's available. First come, first serve, why supplies last. And if you haven't played and are interested in doing so, you can start an account by going to the link in the description below. In other news, my channel is approaching 50 subscribers. Ia, Ia. In order to reward my loyal viewers and cultists, I've got a special episode planned when we hit that goal, so like, share, subscribe, and help bring the dark glories of Lovecraft Country to the waiting world. The Dread Cthulhu rewards the faithful cultist. And now, without further ado... We have a host of employees. I can't know every one of them by name. I do, however, know that you are not one of them. These encoded transmissions you've been sending back to your little club. It's been educational. You forgot who owns the networks, who created the cryptography. You are trespassing. You are in violation of contracts signed in blood. You are breaking binding agreements made in Venice. Mm. The Council tends to frown upon such things. As do I. And I am both less forgiving than the Council, and much better armed. But I'm also a reasonable man. It doesn't have to become ugly. Shall I continue? This operation is officially a liability, and I am soon terminating it. But that leaves me with an embarrassing problem. And unless this problem is handled quickly and carefully, it will become your problem. This pertains to the containment of the so-called Subject Zero. You've already stolen enough sensitive information from me to appreciate what is involved. Deal with it. And we never had this conversation. Nor would you feel its repercussions. I truly couldn't make a fairer offer. Blackmail, eh? Okay, well, with that, it appears that, um... Blackmail is a flavor of the day. Now, the person we were talking to, I'm guessing, was in fact the CEO of Oriochi, which I don't have a lot of information on. But I'm guessing he's not somebody you really want to piss off. So, I guess we're going to have to go clean up Oriochi's mess yet again. I mean, it can't be any worse than fighting a giant Cthulhu monster. So, let's see what we got. All right, then. Orochi Research Terminal Online. Select your inquiry. Subject zero. Now, it looks like I'm guessing the CEO has opened up this specific file for us and nothing else, which is why it's the only thing that we see. Real name unknown, subject origin, Tokyo. Now, if you remember back in episode zero and one, in episode zero, we were alerted by via television that an incident had happened in Tokyo and the entire area had been cordoned off. In episode one, we saw the actual event, which is the breach of our reality by the dreamers, the Lovecraftian horrors that are currently transforming this lovely island and probably Tokyo into terrible, terrible places. Arrival. Subject was sluggish upon arrival, no doubt suffering the effects of long flight and the chemicals pumped into its bodies. After a few hours, it appeared to be asleep, the subject started to thrash. Words were in garbled Japanese. I have sent for the translation, and I'm still awaiting the answer. Okay. At the 24-hour mark. Subject has recovered full sense. Spent several hours attempting to bash the glass and screaming obscenities in Japanese. The only moments the subject was even slightly lucid is when the wind blew from the southwest. Then the subject cocked near towards the direction as if listening. There isn't much in the direction about the quarry. Now, if you remember from uh, episode 26 that, yeah, the quarry is occupied by a giant malevolent mollusk that's spewing the fog into the air out of pure filth. Okay, subject has become increasingly agitated. No food or drink is supplied, but even so, the subject seems be gaining in strength. What is interesting is the subject is now babbling in English. Records indicate no prior of the language. It is almost someone or something isn't speaking directly to the subject. Now, remember that the filth-infected individuals are the opposite of us, the bees. We're hooked to gut... Don't mind me, okay? Uh, yeah, this place has been overrun by infiltrators lately. I have no idea why. Anyways, um... 
Where was I? Yeah, the thing is they're hooked to the hive mind of the filth, which now has absorbed hundreds, if not thousands, of human beings, so it now has the collective information of all of that working for it. Not a happy thought, really. The application of filth in everyday life could be staggering. The adverse effects could be controlled. You are morons. The subject can still have moments where they turn to the southwest and mouth words of listening to a hidden voice. We have lost contact with our operations in the quarry, perhaps a subject way of sensing cold energies. No, they don't. My guess is that is the mother brain, so to speak, of the infection in our reality at this point. Oh, whoops, that was very to this one. Sorry. Okay, escape. No data. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, the most logical place to look for it is the quarry. Like we said, we've been there before, and now I'm gonna get out of here without getting tagged again, because it's really don't like getting tased. I think something interesting, by the way, is that he noticed he had written off this expedition, which means they're not getting any reinforcements. And they have no security personnel. There's just a bunch of scientists and technicians that are hiding in their bunkers waiting for the end because nobody from headquarters is talking again. Okay, activate Hell Cycle. Yeah, this is a security team out here. I don't think they're going to be doing a lot of work for these guys. It's not going to work out, I'm thinking. Uh, I really need to up the sprint speed. I apologize. Anyways, we're also heading down to the uh, quarry, which could take a bit of a run, so yeah. I'm, no, actually, let's take a little scenic view, if you don't mind. Now, the thing to consider about Oriachi is they're kind of the competition for the Illuminati, my organization, but where they, we tend to do quality, for a certain type of quality, mind you, we tend to do, how do you put, they can, the Oriachi tends to do quantity. Now, they've, the, Illuminati have sent a handful of bees, us, the immortal spirits, while the Oriachi dropped an entire task force, which has mostly been whittled down to a single checkpoint and some a few scattered scientists with absolutely no chance of any possible rescue on the way. So, on the other hand, if I screw up, I don't get a rescue either. Ugh, hang on. Let me address the map here. Looks like they need to find the best way to go. Okay, I think this is the road. Ooh, we have, um, problems here. Not a problem. Not for long. Now, one of the things to consider about the gun is that it's actually an interesting evolution here. You see, the reason the sword was a f useful against creatures like this is that they were... Uh, it, I could channel anima down it. I'm a living battery of anima, and... Ooh. And I could channel the anima through the blade. Now, my magic, the elemental stuff, is me using anima directly. But this is actually more efficient. Now, when I encountered the military people, they indicated they had magic bullets. Now, what that means is that you can charge anima with bullets. And now... That's disgusting. Did, did you pee on me? Seriously. Okay. But yeah, here's the quarry. Now, um... Search for Subject Zero among the prisoners. There's more than one prisoner? Wow. Well, hang on. Let's clear the way here. Uh, still love that fire. But yeah. Essentially, the military creates magic bullets by putting anima in them manually, which means they have to be produced. Oh, they have to be produced at a... Vinny, bloody hell. Produced remotely. In other words, somebody has to... Some magician has to create them, and oh my god, it's uglier on the inside. You know, it hasn't really helped very far. No, no. There we go. But, you know what? Maybe it'll at least keep the pants clean. Oh, for crying out loud. I don't know what you guys are doing. It's probably not consensual. Ooh, Oriachi. So it looks like they're collecting 
the Oriachi people, and this guy has a tablet on him. Let's see what it says. Wave to the black helicopters. Yeah, that's right, assholes. I'm living up here in tentacle country. Trace subject zero to center quarry. Does not look good in center quarry. Holding for backup that will never arrive. Didn't think O is coming back. My suit was compromised hours ago. Funniest thing, filth has an aftertaste like diet soda. I knew it. What is, what a way to go. Not with the band playing solitary, waiting for the infection to take over. You know, you've been remarkably polite. Now, it says that I have to destroy the mother pod spikes to access that. And I'm guessing that these giant... This thing's called a mother. I don't want to even think about this. I'm just going to kill things. Alright, so that's down. I may have caused some issues. Yeah, baby. Oh, boy there. Ew, 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 I've got orange juice on me. No, screw you. I'll leave you two to make out over there. Hmm. You have to get a better vantage point. Okay, that was probably wasn't necessary. Oh, for crying out loud. What are you looking at? Uh, this place is bad for my mental health. Uh. Still alive? Not anymore. Okay, that was disgusting. This thing's is breeding this. Uh, do I have to step in this shit? Ah! Oh, thank God. For once, the suit's working. That's two down. Uh, just listing these people. I don't want to know what you two are doing to this thing. I really don't. Three down. Uh, just, don't you hate it? Those fat tourists just take up so much of the beach. That's right, back into the slime. Uh, this place is nutsoid. I cannot wait to be out of here. Where's Subject Zero? That is Subject Zero! I'm gonna need a bigger gun. Or apparently not. Ew. The suit didn't help me with that stuff. Okay, Kirsten, what do you gotta say? Who contact you but Subject Zero? I want names, license plates, social security numbers. Seriously, give me something. Fun fact, Oriachi plus filth experimentation equals major bad deal. Thank you for the obvious, Kirsten. Uh, I'm gonna go someplace slightly saner, catch you on the downside. I don't think there's anything I can do to kill that. Not yet, anyways. Okay, this is kind of interesting. On my way back here, I, um discovered an overland route over the top by the quarry, and there's an Oriachi tablet here. The experiment. Two Oriachi agents lay dead near a Wendigo burrow. One scientist and one soldier. Perhaps a bodyguard? Why were they here? What were they doing when they died? So yes, we're still cleaning up after Oriachi. Tier 1. Find out what Oriachi agents were doing here, then consider it if you should carry out their task. Eh, maybe we'll get bonus points for this. Test the samples acquired from the CDC in both Condition 17 Zombie and Condition R6 Wendigo subjects, both of which are former humans, you understand. That doesn't sound good. We assume the 66.3% recurring probability that the Crypto R6 have been rendered docile by the pile of cult fod. They have not. Wendigos are out here hunting people. Use one dose per subject, record the injection and provided norms, avoid contact and cooperation with CDC staff. Yeah, you guys are assholes. 
Public access inventory updated. Okay, Quick find a Wendigo. Inventory. That shouldn't be a difficulty. Hey, bud. Wait, what? Holy cow, what the? There you go. Guess one found me. Seriously. What was that? Yeah, you can't be, um, too careful. But apparently that doesn't count as a Wendigo for the purposes of the experiment. It indicates there's some down there. Yeehaw! Alright, there's one. Inject it with a yellow sample. Alright, come here, bub. This is for science. How do you do this, anyways? Come on. For science. There you go. Well, that didn't work. Makes them mad. Well, you know, you probably could just do that with hitting them a few times, but hey, let's do the whole mad science bit. Come on. Don't be shy. There we go. Oh, for crying out loud. Work with me here. Work with me. Come on. Open up. Say ah. Oh, that didn't work either. I have no idea why they want to do things like this. Hang on a second. Let me get that last sample up. Hmm. Yellow sample. Ah, there we are. There we go. <sighs> you know, seriously, I'm not getting paid by two conspiracies now. And the, okay, this will hurt for a moment. In the bot. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it works. Seems to make the man dizzy. Excellent. And you know what we also discovered? That grenades work. <laughs> Ugh, seriously, mad science. There's a reason it's called mad, people. Mm. Alright then. Hi. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Hey, you know what? I'll keep the suit on. It makes me feel better. Ah. Okay, that works. And open up and say, ah. Ah, there we go. Also irritates you. Uh, last one. Should be a red sample, yep. All right, let's do some injection, people. Say ah. This is still only good. Hey! He killed it. Ooh, I gotta get back to the CDC computer. Well, I'm gonna go see how Marilyn's doing. I do like this cycle, but seriously, I do have to consider what I'm going to tell when I'm gonna speed it up. Hmm. Green lights. Oh, the Archie. I thought they were wisps for a second. But yeah. There's all these little paths running around the mountain, but you have to know which way you're going because of all these rock walls separating things. Uh, let's just let the Oriachi camp kind of, um, you know, die on its own. But I do have to run back and go talk to the guy. To whoever he was, my mysterious, not-so-benefactor. All right. Hey. D is that a lightning strike? There we go. Field experiment results. Wendigos became re red sample, became fiercer, their skin toughened. Well, that's great. Zombies perished after injection. Hypothesis. Targets muscle mass, only effective against creatures with low metabolism. 
Purple sample, Wendigo, induced hemorrhaging. Zombies, enhance regeneration. Hypothesis, targets the blood only effective against specific blood types. Yellow sample. Wendigo became dazed and slow. Zombies immobilized. Hypothesis targets the nervous system effective against multiple types of creatures. Well, I do hope this is helpful. High five. Consider those test results forwarded. We'll need as much data as possible to prepare various scenario-specific formulas. Then, as our primary interests are secure, we'll fly a crop duster over the island and spray this shit at anything that moves. Remind me to warn you before we do that. Oriachi presence you're countering is most specifically their Vilali. Vilali? Subsidiary? Genetics, DNA, Biotech. They're supposedly to be working hand-to-hand -hand with the CDC, but it's becoming increasingly clear that it's more like knife in back. Essentially, Vilali hijacks CDC results by holding back their own. Chow chow. Yeah, it's the kind of stuff we do. Alrighty then. This is becoming a little crazier. Now, hang on. I'll pop over and uh, we'll check out that other mission by the computer wouldn't drop off the results of this well what results I think they should have at the Orochi computer all right then so Win-win. Oriachi employees go through a rigorous screening process. The existence of moles in the ranks is rare, but not impossible. Investigate the source of Oriachi disruption and so to acquire further knowledge of their organization. You have no allegiance to Oriachi, but the promise of information extracted directly from their networks is intriguing. Surely worth the price of a little investigation. Uh, how do I feel like I'm being double used? Thank you. I mean it. You've done the world a favor, but you have also done me one, and I don't easily forget. I have a very long memory. This is why I typically offer payback of some sort, but I tend to not play by the rules. Instead, I'll simply ask you for another favor. In the process of doing me this favor, however, you will be able to extract certain information from our networks that may Please, your overlords. It helps to grease the wheels, I find. I won't wait for an answer. We're both too proud for that. But you may find that you have in your possessions the tools to dig deeper. And X marks the spot. Things are amiss in our little outpost. I could just have all personnel extracted and the camp itself leveled in minutes. But I am curious. If it's someone from the outside, fine. We'll find a way to crush them. But if it's an inside job... Feel free to send the information to your superiors, but you will see see me. In return, I'll offer you my insights. My very thorough insights. It really is one of those when type scenarios. Okay. So he wants us to hunt. So he knows that we're not working for him. So we can't betray him, really. So he wants us to find possible betrayal. Uh, where's the terminal? Hack. Ah, here we go. Error. Unable to access Orochi communication satellite. Manual override required. Select override method. Abstract logic snare interpretation command line based. Okay. Not entirely sure. Now, if this his belief is correct, then my guess is that whoever this is knocked out the satellite. Command line based? What do we got? Manual access enabled. Scan detects possible privilege, escalation, exploit, and CTO pace bin. Access via comsat to terminal dot entry as guest suggested. Tools. What? It looks like this isn't going to work. We're crying out loud. Uh, this does not be one of the more tedious ones. Let's try the first one. Baseline logic sequence 5, 25, 29, 85, 89. Well, um, I'm going to guess it's sort of a Fibonacci thing. Um, no, not Fibonacci, just a general we can sequence. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 85. All right. 
Give me a second, guys. This is not something I was actually prepared to do. Okay, so after several minutes of trying to bang my head against the wall, I had to look the first one up. I'm gonna try to do these, not really, but I can't spend too much time. After all, this recording time is precious. So, apparently you take 85, the, subtract it from the number to the left, which is 29, and that makes the next sequence, which is 145. I don't understand the pattern on that one, but hey, let's go with it. Okay, this one. Da -da 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 -do. Okay, you know, one plus... I've seen the sequence before. Yes, one plus two is three, three plus three is six, three, six plus four is four, 10 plus five is five. Yeah, this is, a, I've seen this one before. 15 plus six is 21, seven is 28, eight is 36, nine is 45. So the next one will be 45 plus 10, which will be 55. Excellent, 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 excellent. Oh, this is binary. You know, I don't think it binary terribly well. Again, scratch paper required. Stand by, guys. So this one I actually did out, because I can understand binary, and it's squares. The first one is 9 squared, which is 81. Then you got 8 squared, which is 64. That's the kind of the dead giveaway on that one. The next one is, well, 7 squared. So 6 squared, which would be 36, would be the fourth one, but that in binary is 1101100. One, zero, one, one, zero, zero, zero. All right, final logic sequence. Ugh, three, one, two, one, two. Oh, good gods. All right, I'm looking this one up, guys, because I seriously don't know where to start with it. Okay, so apparently these are all interconnected with the number of one, twos, threes, and fours they ever have, and there's a pattern to it, but I don't have 15 minutes to do this. Two, one, three. Two, two, three. One, four. Sorry, I don't have a giant sized brain, guys. But, you're gonna have to do with what I got. Abstraction complete. Accessing inf communications. Warning all communications have been deleted. Activity logs are available. Alright, somebody wipe the records. Okay, go to security terminal. Apparently, I've accessed it to my phone, to my guess. And I find the security terminal. Now, in order to do this, am I gonna have to gas somebody again? Ooh. Probably should get off the bike, but, you know, this is the world's worst infiltration anyways. Ah, uh, it's in the van. Anybody in there? Okay, we're clear. Alright, hack the terminal. There we are, this terminal. Thank you, Magic Vsense. Error 37, error 37, camp and server in lockdown, mail over Oh god, more. More. Uh, whoever designed this was not designing it to make it difficult to get to, just boring. Wait a minute. Actually, what am I doing? Don't I have the codes? No, I don't. Guess, guess, denied, admin, admin, invalid passwords. Uh, I guess not. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, 42, 66, 78. Uh... the heck? Logical integer. All right, hang on again. Okay, I'm going to speed through this. I had to look them up. My apologies, but you know, watching me stumble through logic puzzles is probably not the most entertaining thing you could be doing with your time right now. So let's skip to the end, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> 
There we go. System bypass, security system accessed, weapon systems disabled, Orochi GPS embed, property tracking enabled. So someone's got the chip in them. One object located outside of Orochi property range at 773-7711-905-9970-R3. So yeah, that's coordinates. And that should correspond to our map somewhere nearby. Okay, fine. Make it easy for me. I actually don't care that much. Uh, hang on. I could get myself thrown out of here, but... Uh, oh, wrong button. Let's go. Uh, it's getting as bad as the airport. With me getting in and out here. If, ooh, well, that was convenient. I like being able to phase through solid matter. Guys, uh, coffee break's over. All right, we're heading down this way. So apparently this is a mole that has been messing with Oriachi, but is he working for us or one of the other conspiracies or morning light or what? I suppose I'm never really know. Dead, what are the odds? Oh, I'm on fire. Promoted. Faction rank increased. Congratulations, Closer. Closer? That's a good thing, right? VIB, faction rank 10, hey. And Gersten, more success, main infernal deals lately. Sure, but what just happened in the game, I wonder? So is that making I'm level 50 now? Ooh, I am, cool. That allows me to do a lot more things, but I'll take care of that off screen in case, unless anybody really wants to see me dealing with my maintenance. Okay, so we gotta zip back to the science terminal. I'm guessing I got some sort of data card off of him. But uh, it's going to be a logic puzzle, isn't it? Ugh, sorry, I had to dodge that. Guys, why do you even bother with the lock at this point? Science terminal's down here. Or the drones, I mean seriously, the CEO's working with me. Why doesn't he just code the drones not to mess with me? Unless he's an asshole. Hmm, I gotta get back in there again, do I? I'm gonna have to evac the place. Wait, what? Oh, for crying out loud, it thinks I can... Oh, it's over here. Oh, I got no problem with back. You keep the secure server on the outside? Seriously, guys. What's with you? Okay, CERN's terminal data is encrypted. Command line override available. Key extraction systems. Well, I, you know, I guess that I don't know the nuts enough for the, key li for the command line. Sure, begin command input. Uh, this means more to science geeks, I'm thinking. Directory created, mount server, uh, change directory. I recognize some of this. This systems, cat note dot text, cat, uh, that's beyond me. Running with 102 20 parallel threads. Uh,. As directed, I have been rerouting all transmissions that dealt with the Third Age artifacts. She is particularly interested, she... Kirsten, has this been you? Particularly interested in this and other information about the situation in Egypt. Unless something goes horribly wrong, I will put down the entire camp under secure lockdown tonight and make my way to the airport in Kingsmouthtown. She has some contacts there who will get me off Solomon Island. I have recovered almost all traces of my activity. Upload data. There we go. We do missions from Oriachi agents. Well, you know, I'm hoping this helps for future, you know, not zapping me in the back of the head thing. Let's see what Kirsten thinks of our inter-office cooperation. Let me clarify our position. We don't take orders from Oriachi. We don't flush out moles for Oriachi. We don't file share with Oriachi. We have an entire department dedicated to scratching backs and doing favors. You're not part of it. Look, I get it. You want to be go above and beyond out there. Let's take a look at this data as soon as Cassini runs it through every virus checker known to man, and we're absolutely convinced this isn't some elaborate play to fuck with our system. Fun fact, wouldn't be the first time. 
Okay, so from here, probably going to have to try to get one more set of missions in, and I think I know what I want to do, because I feel like playing a little. Hang on, guys. Okay, given an entire mission of number crunching, I've decided to just end with a fun one. The main chainsaw massacre. A chainsaw sticks out of a rotten corpse. The teeth in the chain look particularly well suited to carving out through soft tissue. As an unexpected find, the chainsaw is perfect for some good old-fashioned zombie slashing, just like in the movies. Pick it up and see how it feels. You got it. Temporary abilities acquired. Uh, this is going to be fun. Say hello to my little friend. And it's much quieter all of a sudden. All right, then. Yes, come to me. Come to me. Ooh. Oh, well, that's good. Kill more zombies. Kill more. Yes, yes, more, more. Come to me. Ah, that was fun. All right, then. Who else? Who else gets to die? Or again? Ooh, dead people. And you die. And you die. And you die. And you die. Okay, more zombies. There are always more zombies. Ooh. And Drog. Hang on, you? You're not getting away. In the back. Okay, no problem. Moon Cave Massacre. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, for crying out loud, guys. That was unkind of you. Ugh, the chainsaw is just not as effective against the loaded corpses, I guess. All right, more zombies. And kill she of the cauldron. All right, you. Uh, these are easy ones. Ah, I will kill a pregnant zombie. I suppose it makes me a monster. Ow. There we go. I was hoping you'd count as a zombie there. Apparently I'm still short in that count. Uh, there's got to be more of you undead bastards. Oh, there's one. How'd I miss you? Ah, she of the cauldron. I'm supposed to kill you too? Can do this. Three more zombies? Okay, over here at the high water mark. Ugh, no brains at all. And last one. Okay, that was fun. Alrighty then. Um. While that was fun, I do think we're a little outclassed here, so... Going to have to do a little beach combing in the next mission. So, in this case, I'm going to leave things as they are. We've done some work for Moriachi and, you know, a little slaughter here, but I think we need to get back on track. I think we need to start looking for better clues to what's going on in the Solomon Island rather than simply indulging our curiosity. So, next episode, we'll do a more detailed sweep and we'll see what we can find, all right? This has been Fantastic Worlds, saying farewell from Lovecraft Country and the Secret World Legends. You will see the dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar. To lose. You're identifying and actioning the wind themes out there. That saves everyone so much time and energy. Except for the losers.